Hello and welcome to another episode of Optics 3 Debates. My name is Andras. My name is Theodor. Hello. Today we're going to be discussing differences between two popular binoculars configurations, that is 8x42 and 10x50. 10x50. 10x50, yeah. Um, I have to point out here that on 8x42 binoculars we already have a buying guide, so you can check that in the link below. Now, if we get back to the topic, what are some of the general features if we, combine, if we put this side by side? Well, first of all, I have to say that there is a really common question, especially among hunters. Should I go with 10 by 50 or should I go with 8 by 42? Because I, we will come later that uh, everybody says, okay, 10 by 42 is really great, but it lacks a little bit of low light. Maybe 10 by 50 gives me the low light capabilities of 8 by 42 and it gives me the detail recognition of uh, 10 by 42. So let's do a short rundown. Uh, most of these binoculars are uh, roof prism design, like these two from mm -hmm. Schmidt and Pechan. But there are also poro prism binoculars of uh, 10 by 50, also normally 8 by 42. Uh, they are getting rarer and rarer. Each year, less manufacturers are producing 10 by 50 in, uh, with poro prisms but still some are still on the market. Uh, all of these binoculars, both of them have uh, twist up eyepieces with multiple positions. It depends normally on the price range, how good this uh, system is, but none of them have uh, um, folding, eye, folding cups. eye cups made out of plastic, uh, made out of rubber. So most of them have twist up uh, plastic eyepieces. Uh, central focusing, there is almost no 8x42 or 10x50 binoculars with any different system of focusing. Uh, focusing. And price-wise, they start from 100 euros and go all the way to 3000 euros. So yeah, this is the is. widest range of prices of different models. Um, what else, if I say it's common to all of them? They're all waterproofed normally. And you can get models either with an open bridge, let's say like Swarovski EL 10x50 has an open bridge, or a single hinge like these two models too. Normally open bridge yeah. configuration is limited to higher price, yeah. uh, price ranges, right? In terms of materials, you find with the cheapest models uh, plastic housings, then with, I would say, mid-class have aluminium housings, and top-class, most expensive one, have uh, magnesium housings. So these are the general features. Now we can go to suitability. I yeah. already explained a little bit, uh, helped you. In yes, way of course. So if we look at the 8x42 configuration first, this is the most universal binoculars category. Mm -hmm. It can be used for almost anything. So it can be used for hunting, bird watching, uh, traveling, and all sorts of other activities that are connected to outdoors. So a very universal piece we have here. Then with 10x50, it's a little bit different. This is a it's, um, I would say, uh, specific. specific, yeah. It can be only used, of course, for other types as well, but it's mostly used for hunting. And for very specific types of hunting, trophy hunting, um, because it has a high magnification, it has a uh, high light transmission rate, and both of these features are great for, I don't know, observing details on a mm -hmm. game. And uh, it is, people go for this one when they think that the, uh, the light transmission rate is more important than weight yeah. because these are heavy binoculars after all. So basically you don't gain much in terms of optics compared to 8x42 yeah. but you gain low light performance. You lose about 200 grams of weight. Yeah. Well, you, you also gain weight but it's a, it's a, it's a negative uh, factor. So in terms of suitability you could use 10 by 50 for everything but let's say for bird watching they're too heavy it makes no sense to carry 200 grams more because you never bird watch or really rarely in low light use again for mountain hunting they're heavy heavy yeah. 200 grams too much uh, for hiking for outdoors uh, Always too big. It doesn't make yeah. sense. There are to... always better options when yeah. it comes to all of these, um, I don't know, hiking travel. But if you are hunting deer, let's say, and you're really into trophies of deer and want to see all the details on the deer and don't want to sacrifice low light performance, then this is the choice for you. Yeah. And if you don't care about the weight. So I would say it's really useful for raised height hunting where you're yeah. 
in a single place most yeah. of the time when you hunt. Yeah, for stalking, they are a little bit uh, oh, yeah. heavy. So mm -hmm. if we go through the differences between 8x42 and 10x50. Uh, field of view, it's a big difference. 10x50 usually gives you around 110 meters of field of view at 1000 meters. 115, the best models. With 8 by 42, 125, 130, it's where they start, and all the way to 150 and more. Now even 160 with Swarovski and yeah. yeah. So, so you borders. gain a lot of field of view with 8 by 42. Low light performance, it's almost the same. The exit pupil is approximately 10% bigger, well, the, the surface of exit pupil in 8x42. So the 8x42 will still have a small edge in low light performance, but really small. 10x42 uh, is much dimmer than both of these two. In terms of comfort, normally size and weight, it's 8x42 is much better. You can see it, how I can handle it yeah. like this, and with Even this one I have to hold it really steadily. <clears throat> because there is around 200 grams on average of difference. In terms of comfort of viewing, <clears throat> uh, the exit pupil is a little bit bigger on 8x42, so it's 5.25 millimeters. It's only 5 millimeters on 10x50. When you use it with glasses, usually 10x50 has a, a bit longer eye relief. Yeah, than 8x42. 2 millimeters. Probably, yeah, right? 1 to 2 millimeters longer on average among all. Uh, and from price-wise, from price points, like I said, both of these two binoculars go really from 100 euros to 3,000 euros. So it's really hard to say. If we compare the same series, let's say if you have, we don't have it here, but let's say Ultravit 8x42 from Leica and 10x50 or Swarovski EL 10x50 and uh, EL 8.5x42, uh, the price difference will be around 5%, maximum 10%. So the price difference is not so so big. Okay, so I think I we think, covered everything. Yeah, we covered which one to take when. Yeah. So this one for everything. This one, if you really want to look at the details and don't want to sacrifice the low light. Uh, so I hope we didn't forget something. If we did, please use the comments below. Write questions or send us an email uh, or call us. We like to communicate. Uh, and if you like our videos, please subscribe. Also check individual reviews of 10 by 50 and 8 by 42 videos which will follow this one. See you in the next video. See you next time. Bye.